We've seen earlier how to calculate the average of an array of doubles to get the average temperature, for example. Now, say we want to write some Java code that would perform basic grade analysis for a grade table like this. We're given the grades for four different subjects for five different students, which ended up with a table that's four by five items in it, and that's equal to 20 grades. So we might think, OK, we can store all of those in an array of integers that's 20 integers long. But this won't help with a lot of the analysis that we want to do. Like, if we wanted to get the average grade for each student, we'd have to perform this average calculation per student individually. But if all of these integers were stored in this one array, it becomes really tricky to match every number in the array to a specific student in a specific subject. So one solution is to store the grades in multiple arrays. We could have an array for every student, storing the grades for all the four subjects. And then we could use loops, for example, to calculate the average per student. But say we wanted to calculate the average per subject to see how students are performing in biology, for example. We'd need to access one individual item in all of these arrays, and loops won't be able to help us with that. So instead, we could possibly create an array for every subject rather than every student. And that way, we could easily calculate the average for every subject individually, but we can't loop over the grades for every student anymore. That's why when you're trying to deal with data that looks something like a table or a grid, Java offers something called a two-dimensional array. You can think of a two-dimensional array as an array of arrays. Like, imagine every single row in this table is an array of integers by itself. We can actually bundle all those together into an array of all these arrays, so that each individual array is indexed from 0 to 3, and then each item inside these arrays are also indexed. To declare a two-dimensional array, you type in the type of the data that's stored inside, followed by two sets of square brackets, and then the array name. This is because we're actually creating an array of array of integers, called grades. The beauty of 2D arrays is that you can access any item in this table given the two indices. Like, if we wanted to know Tim's grade in biology, for example, we can type in grades of 2 and 1. This 2 here is referring to the index of the array that we're interested in, which is biology in this case, and the 1 here in the second squared brackets is referring to the index of the item inside that array. So grades of 2 and 1 would have 75 stored in it. Say, for example, we wanted to know Sam's grade in English. That would be stored in grades of 1 and 3, because English has an index of 1 and Sam has an index of 3. So we always start with the index of the array itself, and then the second set of square brackets has the index of the item inside that array. What should we use to find out what Sandra's grade was in arts?